says, as I am blessed. Good morning, Metropolitan. We're here at Largo again, uh, this time with an opportunity to share more with you about what is happening at our construction site and how you can be critically involved in what's going on here. You need to know that our construction continues. They're putting the roof on some of the exterior walls. Uh, studding is now going up. Uh, it's really beginning to take shape as a building. If you have an opportunity, sometime in the next week or so, stop on by, get a hard hat, and go on the site and see what's going on. I try to check it out, you know, every six hours or so to make sure nothing is going on that I don't know anything about. Today is a special day because I have a special guest. Uh, you know, I feel like Geraldo or, you know, maybe, uh, you know, Dr. Phil or something, but I've got a special guest uh, who's come to talk with us today. Sylvia O'Neill, a member of our congregation who has been a member of our congregation, I think probably as long as she's been in the world. Uh, she's the daughter of the late uh, Maurice, Deacon Maurice and Deaconess Zelma O'Neill. And uh, Sylvia, we're glad to have you. Tell us a little bit about your parents. Yes, um, good morning, Pastor Hicks. I'm very happy to be here today. I'm very happy to be a part of the heritage gift um, idea that uh, came from you. Um, I could not think of a better way to honor my parents. My parents were very faithful, loyal, and dedicated members of Metropolitan, um, almost 50 years each, and um, they were active, both were active and up until their passing, and um, I couldn't think of a better way to uh, carry on their legacy by the purchasing of two sacred seats. Um, I feel that anyone who has the opportunity to do so, uh, this would be something that would, would just make them feel good. I mm -hmm. feel very good to be able to do this in, in memory of both my mother and my father, and um, I encourage other people of the church to do so. You don't even have to be a member of Metropolitan. I, I do know of one person who is not a member of Metropolitan, but they lost a loved one, and they are purchasing a sacred seat at Metropolitan. Right. Um, Metropolitan is very special to me. I grew up in Metropolitan. I've been extremely active at Metropolitan, and um, I love Metropolitan dearly. And um, well, that's this great. This is wonderful. That's great. You know, when I when I think of your dad, Deacon Maurice O'Neill, uh, I I think of him in his preparation of the elements for communion. Yes. That, that was his joy, that was really his life. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the other memories that you have of your parents? Um, at, when I was growing up in Metropolitan, I was a member of the Girl Scouts and the choir, the Children's Choir and the Young People's Choir specifically. My parents served as uh, transportation, not only to get me back and forth where I had to go, but my friends as well. They were very supportive of all the activities that I participated in, and um, they, they really loved Metropolitan, and they were very dedicated. And for that, um, that is why I am who I am today. Wonderful. Well, you know, we really appreciate your spirit of sacrifice and your willingness to give in order that others might have an opportunity to come into the experience of worship. Uh, so that others might come to hear the message of our Christ. Uh, and it's because of your faithfulness and because of the faithfulness of other members of our congregation that the church will grow, the construction will continue until it reaches that final day when we're able to march in. And we'll be sitting on a couple of seats that uh, Sylvia O'Neill gave in honor of her, of her parents. Thank you so much and thank you, thank Metropolitan. You for your faithfulness. And Sylvia, we always have something to say at the end of this little uh, vignette. Uh, Metropolitan, yeah. it's time.